A massive welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I still haven't released part one yet, so I've got no idea. Um, but I appreciate all the support anyway. And uh, first we're going to look for our gear. And then we're going to perform a mod to our broom, which is quite exciting. I haven't really looked through our gear for a, a, a reasonable amount of time, honestly. Uh, I'm probably going to just sell whatever I don't have equipped. Um, I prefer these ones. Yeah. I'll keep those ones. Pretty sure I should probably, well, potentially keep all of my legendary gear. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I can cope with those, but I, I can't have goggles. I mean, for flying, sure, but we don't always fly. So, yes. Uh, what has the best defense? 33 defense is the highest, I believe. Yep. Is this hat? Oh. I feel like I just need to embrace it a bit more. I need to embrace being a wizard. Maybe I'm just holding back a little bit. Maybe. Um, what's the highest we've got here? 29, 22. We kind of have eight. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade that. I mean, the scarves look pretty good. I really can't complain about the scarves. The scarves look classy, and I like them. Uh, in terms of the robes, we have nothing equipped currently. So this is all about offense. 34 offense. Again, not that great. That looks clean. That looks really nice. But I'm going to go for the best one. I want the best stats possible. Uh, the outfit actually under your robes. So that's 26 and 33. Eventually we have like traits and um, sort of upgrades we can do to these particular items. But for now we're just all looking at the stats really. I'm probably going to sell everything outside of that. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, talking on that, we are about to perform our very first broom upgrade, which I'm quite excited for. I think it actually counts as a side mission. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. All right, let's get to it. Do we collectors update it? Collection update. Is that collection for the room of requirement? Welcome back. Anyway. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I Ooh. truly appreciate all of your help. Well, I'm, I'm willing to help today? more if you want to. <gasps> yes, a thousand. Is that a special offer? Ah, that's pretty expensive. Is there a new broom here? No. Oh, I, I've got to go for it. I've got to. You'll it's be done. thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> that was so expensive, wasn't it? So what um, do we... Does it tell... I think... Yeah. This. All these items are items I don't have equipped, as far as I know. Yeah. So we can sell all of this. We don't want them anymore. Obviously, the question marks I will leave to one side for now. Because it might be a very good piece of gear, potentially. Well, I've entered the shop with more money. And I have a broom upgrade. So that's good. Thanks for stopping by. I must tell oh. you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information quick. you provided, <laughs> my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? I would be honoured. I would be honoured. Sounds as it. if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. So I just want to double back check. As soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. I want to double check the. The upgrade is actually equipped. Does it get put on automatically? Let's have a look. On the gear. Yes. The broom is upgraded. So I'm guessing it's not like a special broom. It's all about the broom upgrades. A bit like the wand, really. Uh, in terms of actual performance, it's sort of preset, I guess. But yeah, we've got the first upgrade. I would definitely like to spend some time and potentially get a second upgrade in the future. So is that a quest we can do right now? I believe it is. Let's have a look. Yep. Sweep in the competition. Where's that on the map? 
Oh, that's really far south. <laughs> well, I did not expect that. Uh, sure. That's a long way, isn't it? If we go from this flu flame. Yeah, this is going to be a long journey. Okay, this, isn't, this wasn't quite my plan. Um, I really want to do a class as well. So we're going to do a class after this. It's going to be a fun episode. A bit of exploring as well. Who lives here? And also we exploring an area of the map we haven't really looked at yet. And we can check out the performance of the broom. Does it feel better? I hope so. I would imagine the further we go south, I'm guessing the more tricky it gets. The opponents get maybe go up to a, to a certain level. What is this? Beasts welcome. Okay. Let's uh, ignore that. <laughs> Not quite ready for that yet. Yeah, the lower you stay, basically the faster you go. If you decide to start climbing, that's when the speed sort of scrubs off a little bit. Yeah, the broom definitely feels a little bit, a little bit quicker. Definitely. Definitely more nippy. Woo! Yeah, see the, the boost is now going down. Eventually, I'll see it'll run out. See a few more balloons as well to pop. It doesn't take too long to get around. <laughs> Being on broom is quite useful. Look at this place. I, I just didn't quite compute the scale of this game. Who lived here, I wonder? I don't know. Absolute rubbles. Yeah, I just didn't compute. I just thought this game was going to be Hogwarts, and that was it. But there's so much more to this game. Does anyone know if they've got plans to release, like DLC or... Because I'm, I want to keep playing this game. <laughs> I don't want to stop. I'm actually quite... If I, can get, I actually get quite upset when I finish the game. Like the, the, At least the story mode. I guess there'll be stuff to do afterwards, but... It's a game I've been looking forward to for such, such a long time. And for it to be done... Like, yeah, I reckon I'd be a bit upset. Look at that window. Damn. Right, so apparently it's up here. Here we are. All right, we made Mr. it. Mr. Weeks wasn't wrong about the mountain views. If it isn't the fastest Ravenclaw. Ah, oh, the fastest student. Ooh. Foggy. All right, I think we're ready. Uh. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Um... Scared everyone else, have we? <laughs> so, what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? I'm going to give it a go. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. We absolutely smashed the previous one. Can we do it again? Whew. Go! 20 rings again. Roughly the same amount of time. Go! Why does it do that for? So annoying. Oh, that was a big boost. Whoa! Get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. We're in the lead again. Going up, going up, going up. Woohoo! I love these bubbles. Keep it cool, keep it cool. Approaching the halfway mark. Let's keep it going. Come on. I'd say that was acceptable. I agree. I would like an online leaderboard for this. I think that'd be quite fun. I guess there's a max time you can get, but there's always quicker routes. Especially if everyone's got exactly the same room. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Excellent. Excellent. I feel like we're in a pretty... Comfortable position. Oh, shoot. Come on. We could have a boost there. 
I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, I guess I am. Don't screw this up now, Scar. It's in the bag. Yeah, if we do miss a ring, I haven't done it yet. The rings are pretty big, honestly. Oh, oh. You do get a time penalty, so be warned. There's the end. We've done it again. Easy. Uh -huh. Yeah. Brilliant. Come on. Oh, perfect. Woo. Hopefully, Mr. Weeks is happy. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be Ooh. careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We shall see, I guess. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial. If you don't lose your nerve. Is that going to be the last trial? To race Maybe. this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. How does my time compare? Ooh, Another so successful second place. flight. Ruby. Should let Mr. Weeks know. See, I think that time is probably possible. I had a pretty bad start. I pretty much stopped at one point. I reckon we definitely can get top tier time. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Mr. Weeks and report our progress. He will be happy about his little upgrade to his broom. I hope he's going to make a name for himself. I feel like he's been um, underestimated by the, uh, the fellow students and wizards and witches. Mr. Weeks, I've got back good from news. Your flight. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. All right. Thank you again, truly. Exciting times. I look forward to this next upgrade. Lovely doublers. So, um, I want to go... Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. We do, we do. Um, I want to do a new class. So, let's get to it. So this will be our very first Beasts class. Yes. Finally. Okay. Again, another another tutor we haven't seen yet. Professor, even. Let's begin. A brand new class. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. There's a, a brush spell? Really? Oh, there is. Okay, yep, yeah, sure. So let's equip that. I've got a brush? I can just brush the animals? What the? 
which is crazy. Ah, oh, there we go. That's lovely. I'm that sure he cute. feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? I would love to give him some beast feed. Can we just sign that as well? There we go. Nom 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 nom. It's like cool. What do you suppose <laughs> the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. He looks I happy. think it's we can safely Furby. say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. They love like pussycats. So eventually you can have uh, beasts in the room oh, of requirements. Couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> no, that's horrible. Stupid thing. Oh. <sighs> what in Merlin's name are you doing? Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Oh, uh, the, the brushes. Just as you did with Gerald. And this is useful. I could brush an animal from far away so it wouldn't bite me. <laughs> uh, and feed it as well. There we go. Enjoy your <laughs> Her knees was really took food. to you. They know a good egg when they see one, as do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? I'm here. Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay, let's have a chat, Professor. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Because Harry Potter was also very, very good with the beasts and animals of Hogwarts, wasn't he? Um, I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I will. I enjoyed that class. Hey, I wasn't quite sure what to here. expect. Come but. on. Um, Poppy, what do you want? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. 
It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Okay, sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Doesn't... I've sure, I I done I a preview and I'm pretty sure Poppy there. features in a mission. In fact, you're the first. Really? Maybe. Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Where is she taking me to? Oh, Hogwarts at its finest. Beautiful. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't For you think? The reason my spells are blocked. Poppy, I where use... are you taking me? What's going on? It really oh. is much better if I just show you. Moonstone. I didn't realise I could just don't attack worry. it with a basic we're spell. There. Oops. It's just ahead. What, what are you showing us? Stand back. Wow. That is majestic. Please let me ride it. Please. Please. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Hey, now I'm Harry Potter. You must bow to the hippogriff. You are beautiful. Bow again. Respect. You must respect your beast. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I would love I to. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties. Aww. Tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. I wouldn't believe that. There's some food for you. Nom 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 nom. Please let me ride High Wing. Please. Please. Maybe not. Maybe another day. So, what did you think of High Wing? She made me nervous. <laughs> no, she was brilliant. As long as you give her respect, she could give you respect back. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm, does sound very, very suspicious. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Would be good to investigate for I sure. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. 
I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I feel like Poppy likes us quite a bit. Just gonna come out and say it. The very first beast class was a lot of fun. I'm pleased we did it. Does anyone remember Mr. Moon? He did feature briefly, I think, in part one. He's basically the caretaker and he did message us with a concern. So we're gonna go and see him. Is this the right way? Yeah, it's the right way. We'll go and see him and see if we can help. Seems friendly enough. Mr. Moon, the caretaker. Yep, there he is. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Whoa! One second. What? Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd oh, little what? contraptions, what? aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. Revelio, a demigod. <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigods. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I guess so, Mr. Moon. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. And thank you. And the 
things we agree to, honestly. But at least we can now lock pick. I'm guessing level one locks at least. So that's going to be useful. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. A Lamora. We have a new spell. Oh, so we don't need to equip with a spell. Okay. <laughs> spell is not needed. Ah, okay. So I think we need to basically spin this until we get a nice, sweet, oh, little sweet vibration. We locked it in. Done. Master locksmith. Beautiful. Well done. You're Thank in. you. Remember, use a dissolution. Rebellion. Control, so no one can have eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle. Okay. Alohomora. We can finally, though, open up locks. It's been too long. Obviously, we have seen level three doors. I don't know if that's like an upgrade on this spell, or whether maybe it's just more difficult to open. That's true, actually. I don't know. Didn't think of that. Who was this? My dear Dot has been asking for you. Perhaps I convinced her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones. Oh. Very interesting. Right, let's go invisible. Whoop. Let's get to it. So we can still be spotted to a certain extent, but... Revelio. Revelio. It's definitely harder to spot us. There's a few... Um, okay, so we can't unlock that. Okay. Need to work on that then. Oh, what's this? Another note. Professor Fig. Um, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Should you wish I have secrecy secured a seat for yourself and a guest? Initiates quit it final. I think you'd be delighted to see the results of a well-run, efficient government. Wow, well, okay. I want to see Quidditch, honestly. Why is anyone here? Oh. Okay. Protego. Oh, that's not why I pressed. Rebellion. That was an epic fail. So it should be in the hospital and where was it? And the bathroom. Okay. Revelio. Don't like doing this at night. I really don't. You can try and lure them away. So there's a slight hint that maybe going upstairs is the way to go. Yep, let's go. I've been listening the right way, please. Oh. Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of mm. coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between us and Idol Yes, well. It's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. <laughs> Perhaps you they'll improve. That every year, Matilda. So can we come here during like daylight hours, if that makes sense? Are we fine to explore here? Just obviously, it's at night, it's past the curfew. We shouldn't be here, basically. Revenue. Should better get past. On one sec, this door locked. This oh, must fine. be the prefect's bathroom. Yes, we're in. We are in, we are in, we are in. I'll find the... Oh, there we go. Yes. So, even though you have magic, you still got to do a bit of lockpicking. <laughs> oh. Here it is. Now we have one. Let's get out of here. Please don't see me. Stupid prefects. <laughs> Idiots. Oh. 
I need to find a distraction here. Uh... Oh boy. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should. They always seem to be facing the wrong way, so. I thought we were safe. I mean, was safe. Mr. Moon, it is done. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? A Ravenclaw. Always Ravenclaw. I heard that. Oh. Uh, over there. Well, I didn't it. Almost royally screwed that up, didn't I? Oh. Stealth has never been my strong point. Mr. Moon, it's done. I've got a couple of these, but who put those monkey things there anyway? I guess we won't find out until we've got them all. You stay there. What would you do if you could be invisible? Let me know in the comments. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure I 100% want to know, but sure. Mr. Moon, it's done. Hello, Mr. Moon. We did it. I have the moons you asked And no me drama. Tonight. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I will be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. Or reward. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. You, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understand. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. There we go. Okay. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. I will. Good job. Okay. No, no fuss. We got it done. We were stealthy as well. All good. Very happy. Oh man, this corridor is insane. The staircase. They've done such again, such a good job of capturing that magic of the films, of the books. This place is insane, isn't it? So good. So we have a couple more missions that have just popped up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I did get distracted at one point. I do apologize. Um, these things happen when you've got a little family. But yeah, see you guys soon. Leave a like on this episode. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys very soon for the next one. Bye-bye.